day 57 on plan, end of my eighth week, so I'm going into my ninth week on plan now. I can't really express how proud of myself that I am at the moment. I've been back on some really strong painkillers now for um, two weeks that um, I was pretty sure and I was warned by my neurologist would affect my weight, slow my metabolism, um, interfere with my insulin and blood sugars and um, uh, I put on weight while I was on them for quite a few months and um, the last two weeks I've been taking them my weight loss has gone from uh, about three pound a week to the last two weeks I've been about half a pound a week even though I've been stuck solidly to step two which is 800 calories a day um, I am enormously proud of myself for persevering and pushing through. It's been really hard sometimes because I've been mega peed off at the slow loss and the massive fluctuations in my weight loss from a day-to-day -day perspective, um, which I don't normally keep track of on a, on a daily basis because I know that can happen anyway, but I've needed to because um, I, I wanted to know my baseline weight if I need to then up um, for various reasons, the step that I do linked with the drugs that I'm on. Um, and it's been really interesting, annoying, but interesting to see the massive swings. So if you're a consultant watching my videos, it's been absolutely fascinating to see how much. Um, so I'm on non-steroidal anti-inflammatories and steroids and um, amitriptylin, um, which... Uh, can all affect weight and metabolism so it's been a fascinating experience if annoying to see just how much these things affect um, uh, weight <laughs> I um, th I'm so proud be of myself because I'm persevering and pushing through and what I thought to myself today was no matter how little the loss at least I'm not gaining which I felt so out of control of when I first started putting on the weight and was trying to stick to my um, TDEE my total daily energy expenditure not always because there was a lot of grieving for my previous health going on and there were times when I ate albeit very healthily I would eat more than I, I know I needed um, but the weight seemed to be massively going on really quickly so I've been able to let go of that beating myself up and I'm seeing all of this as one massive experiment at the moment in um, how these drugs are affecting me because these are drugs that I'm probably going to have to be on for the rest of my life um, in various um, spells uh, or bursts in between other um, treatment that I'm having. So um, if you're a client um, who's watching who's also on feeling a bit helpless about either menopause, going through menopause and weight gain or various drugs and weight gain, what I would say is don't give up hope. It's made me feel um, much more in control and totally knowledgeable about what's happening with my body. I kind of know now um, and can see for myself because I've been kind of doing this experiment on myself. So, uh, Yesterday I was very peed off with the uh, massive gain. I'd gained 4.6 pounds in three day, uh, five days. And then this morning I'd lost almost three pounds of it again. So there's really massive water retention going on. Um, and just try and think of this as clawing back, if you are someone who's struggling like me, clawing back that control and understanding of exactly how these things um, that you're going through are affecting you and um, what can you do about that and uh, I'm literally to the point where I'm thinking okay uh, well if this is affecting my blood sugars and my insulin levels then maybe I need to look at exactly what products I have from the perspective and what food I have from a conventional food perspective in um, the response in the relation to carbohydrates and refined sugars so um, yeah all good actually <laughs>